Hi. Happy holidays. Merry Christmas. I'm Scott Houston, and I want to teach you how to play that song, Joy to the World. Kind of like that right there. I've uh, figured out a way that I'm going to split this tune up into five lessons because right now it's about a week before Thanksgiving. So we have about five weeks before Christmas, and uh, I'm going to once a week give out a little dose and one little lesson, and we've got it split into five pieces. So very simply, I'm going to teach you how to play this tune. And I promise you'll be able to get this underhand because I found kind of a sneaky way to do it. And it's going to be a pretty hip version with nice chords and the whole bit. So I'm really looking forward to doing this. And I think you'll be shocked at how, how little and bite-sized each individual lesson is. Also, just to mention this briefly, and not that learning how to read music isn't a great thing to be able to do or to want to learn to do, but in this environment, I want as many people as possible to be able to take advantage of these five free lessons and uh, get this tune under hand, because it's really fun to be able to play a, a good holiday tune this time of year. So, let's dig right in. Here comes lesson number one. Now, here's what we're going to do, okay? With your right hand, you want to put your fingers on these notes. My pinky is on a C up at top here, right? Then I have my index finger on a G and my thumb on a C. Those three, those, yeah, three notes. Now, don't tuck your fingers away like I am doing. I'm just doing it because it makes it easier to show you and you can see which notes I'm on. But when you're really playing, you'll want to leave your fingers out. So there's no reason to give yourself rigor mortis hand by tucking your fingers away like I do. Okay, so here we go. You just start here and just start working your way down one white note at a time. So you have... Now you'll notice that my hand is absolutely locked like it's got a cast on it. It's exactly the same shape through the entire thing, okay? Let me do that one more time. Starting at, just starts on a C and you just start going down every white note. It's until you get one entire octave lower and you'll be ending up on that note. So one more time. Okay, that's it for your right hand part. Now here's what we're gonna do with our left hand to begin with, all right? I'm gonna open up this camera shot just a little bit here, pardon me. We'll expand this just a little bit, all right? Now, here's what you need to do with your right hand. Here's the bass line. It just goes like this. So I'm starting on a C, right? Then you can always tell a C, that's the first white note to the left of two black notes, all right? So here we go. And then you want to reach down one octave, right? So it's the same G down at the bottom. That's it. One more time. Now what you'll probably end up wanting to do is playing that in octaves just to get a deeper sound. So you'll play both notes at the same time and it'll sound like this. All right, then... Now, you may want to even go one octave down further because, and this will make sense the minute we do it, we're going to have a thumb crash where this hand's coming down here and this thumb's coming up here. So here's how I'll do it, all right? If you just want to watch, I'll put my hands together. So we're going to do just what we did before. And again, I'm playing octaves. I have a C, and I have one more C played down there at the same time. So I'll play... Right here is where you kind of have a thumb crash, and it's no big deal. You can solve it however you want, but I'll probably just stay out of the way. And then I'll reach down even one octave further, right, and come back to the C. So here it is. This is the whole thing we're going to do for this lesson, right? Okay. Now, if you need to watch this over and over, feel free, do it a few times, but that's all we're going to do for this first lesson. So if it takes you a few days to get it underhand, great. If it takes you a few minutes to get it underhand, great. Make sure you're comfortable with it, but I'm still going to make you wait a week until I give you the next one. <laughs> all right, get ready. We'll come back with lesson two.